finished piece, which it's going to be. Hmm. What else do you notice? A lot of curves. Curves mm -hmm. everywhere. Mm -hmm. uh, goes along with the vocabulary. Do, are any of you surprised by some of them? Do they surprise you? Are they, are they, oh, this, or, did, or? I expected more, more blanket. More, um, uh, more text. I guess that the text was something that I expected to be integrated, um, and there's not a lot. And I expected um, something more literal, and it's much more expressive mm -hmm. and abstract. You know, it's right. it's it's about feeling. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I expected to see blankets and mm -hmm. Can you? Can you tell us what this says, or is that? Oh yeah, this is um, this is actually about a my mother-in-law is a seamstress, so she makes everything. She makes quilts, she makes bags, she makes everything, and she did make this make this blanket for me. Which when I heard the excerpt, it made me think of my blanket. Um, so it says flannel blankie, created by Michael. Her name's Michael, which people always get confused about that. Um, I used you so much that holes s stuck. <laughs> I can't even read now. Holes stuck out. Holes started to pop up everywhere. I like to stick my toes through those <laughs> until, of course, you insisted on fixing it. So she did. I had all these little holes in the blanket that I like put it on. And I'd stick my toes in there and I'd stick my feet through, and I oh loved it. Gosh. It was so comfy. It was like my way of snuggling with a blanket. But um. She came over and she's like, what are all these holes, Alyssa? We can't be having this. Because it kind of reflects her, you know, her, right, her, her, craft. her craft, exactly. So she, hi to, she hijacked my quilt for a couple days, but she brought it back. And the holes? Are the holes closed? No holes, but now we have a new hole started. <laughs> Thank you. Don't show her. Yeah. Yeah. Don't show her. Yeah. It did have like a real connotation for me, the actual the blanket. The circles around there. Yeah, I had drawn some holes, and this is the color. It's actually very earthy, but you gave us all these bright colors. So I tried to mix the color of the actual blanket with more earth tones. What's interesting is you put holes in the text where you couldn't read it. They yeah. actually became the holes. Oh, I didn't guess I didn't think about that. I, I think maybe we should hear some of the stories. They're really interesting. Well, let's um, let's just start right here. This is like yeah. whoa. Well, um, that's mine, and I just I love the bright color because the the story that we heard evoked um, just feelings of you know being young and with my sisters and you know, that playfulness and kind of fighting. And um, so I feel really happy about those times. So I wanted a bright color to resemble that. And um, and then I thought also I have a quilt that um, my great, great, great grandmother made. And wow. it was passed to me, unfortunately. I let my sister use it for a while and she washed it. And it's like, it was like this painstaking stitching that somebody, hours labor, probably you know, months. Right. Yes. And so when we, when originally when we started, I, you know, thinking of, oh, we have a whole half hour, I'm going to just start in one corner and layer this color to build up this richness. So that's why I kind of started yeah, with that. And then I had to get more frantic and yeah, yeah, a 10 right. minute warning. So I was starting and layering. And so, yeah, I just kind of um, pushed it out. I just wanted to do a border to contain that, that memory. Good. Okay, how about here? Oh, that one's mine. Yes. Um, I was thinking about the five siblings and I was thinking about toes. And so I didn't want to draw toes, so I just kind of abstractly did the five siblings and 
thought about toes and those are the toenails and they're kind of oh. all interweaving because siblings interweave together and colorful. Are you still close? I don't have any siblings. Mm. So you're thinking about the story. I'm thinking about the story. Oh, how interesting. How interesting. I <laughs> wish I had a sister. Oh, how interesting. How interesting. Wow, that's a, wow. I like that. Um, and this one? That's mine. Um, I My memory was of uh, Christmas when me and my sister each got a blanket, and I was jealous of her blanket because it was way cooler than mine. She was older, <laughs> and her blanket looked way more adult which was obviously really important to me. So um, so I was thinking about how we used to fight over things in general also, and uh, how over time that's been okay, that we were able to get close in spite of a history of jealousy and fighting over things. Oh, so. that one gets yeah. territory. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, It's about my baby, my, who's now 21. Um, and one day I came home from work in my purple satin suit. Ooh, very stylish in the 80s, I guess. <laughs> I can't imagine, but that's what I was wearing. And uh, she rubbed up against my skirt, and she was a very colicky baby. So being the good mother, I took off my skirt and let her use it to pacify herself with and it became her blanket um, until she was in kindergarten or preschool and she would carry it with her and rub it against her face and it was always her purple satin, you know, her, her purple. And that purple was my baby. And it was interesting while I was doing this, I'm still so raw from what's just happened these past two days. As a mother, I found myself praying that we wouldn't kill this killer. Mm -hmm. And I was so conflicted by those feelings. Right. And here, during this, again, I became completely the mother. And no matter how hard I tried, I couldn't draw anything besides my baby's face wrapped in that purple satin skirt. And when, I, when you said, time's up, I tried to go into me. And I'm so faceless. And, you know, there's nothing. I am just the warmth that protected this infant. I'm and I it. think that's why I was so caught up in the news, because all I could feel was, this is somebody's child. Right. Please don't kill right. him, right. even though, you know? So this came right back to everything that's going on in my head about the horrific news that we're living in, and went back to being the mother, my baby's security. Thank you. Thank you. And this? That was mine. Okay, um, it's not really a specific memory per se, but just like some of the feelings that I was having while the podcast was playing. Just about things that, you know, start together that may eventually grow apart and it just reminded me of um, my family's and I just use like very calming colors, like blue's my favorite color and it just is very like calming thing. So kind of I just wanted to show that through the shapes and colors, how you start in one section where like some things come together and then they eventually can drift apart but you can still all be part of each other. And the tendrils, like all, they're like connecting. Yeah, yeah. So I some are connecting, tendrils, some right. are like coming apart from right. one another. So it's mostly not really a specific memory, but just kind of a feeling like the of ocean. Yeah, the just sea. like a calming yeah, thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or the wind. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, but then you have the blue, which is water. Yes, not so much even specific objects. It's just oh, kind of the feeling. Go, yeah, you know, where my arm was yeah. going. Thank you, Amy. And this is yours. Yes. Okay. Do you want it um, coming up like that? Is that part of it? No, it's just kind of how it's drying right now. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Love that watercolor. Uh, no, I don't know. I guess the story struck me as having this incredible sense of vulnerability to it, that feeling of waking up without covers in the middle of the night, and you feel cold. Sorry, that's me. Okay. <laughs> it's my alarm, too, also. Oh, is that? Oh, is that mine? We all just went, I thought I turned it off. Sorry. No, no, no. Um, so I don't. I found like this really you know, interesting sense of Does vulnerability. This like this. Yes. Ah. Oh. Changes. I okay. Um, so like this sense of vulnerability, waking up cold, but then also that comfort of being enveloped when you 
sense that and you grab the covers and you roll back over onto yourself and you feel like you're in this little cocoon and all of a sudden you're safe again. So, mm -hmm. yeah. That figure just feels like she's being elevated. I just want her to lift up. <laughs> it reminds me of a blanket draped over something. Yeah, well, that's kind of that feeling of you literally just grab the edge of it or you're searching for them almost to just curl back up. And, yeah. it's not Maybe that's because I woke up cold this morning. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, let's go like this, right? So that one's Sorry. fine. Um, I was thinking about the story. I immediately just like started thinking about my brother, and we're very close, and we always have been. And I was kind of thinking about that last line where it was saying, like, you know, they could have shared the blanket. And I feel like that's something I'm kind of very fortunate, like, I don't know, in a way, like, we've always been able to share things. Like, we've never, wow. it's, like, so strange, but, like, a lot of siblings fight and stuff, but I don't know, we're just, like, very exceptional, I guess. So that, and we have the same eyes, and, like, everyone always says that to us. Like, <laughs> you, you and brother have the same eyes, like, blah, blah, blah. So wow. it's, like, I don't know, it's just something that, like, I kind of, like, symbolically, like, think so of. So is that the eye? Kind of, yeah, That's and then eye. I was thinking about just using two colors, because then it's sort of, like, two, two people coming yeah. in, actually. Yeah. So that's where I kind of went. I think that's unusual for siblings to get along like that. I, I, I don't have that. <laughs> okay, and this is this is mine. And this goes like yes. this. Um, vertical. Vertical. Okay. Yeah. Um, it was just there was so much reflection on life, so just the spiral of life and having it bleed off of the page, the continuation of it, um, and then I had some reflections of like uh, water. I originally started out feeling warm, but then. Um, the sense being drawn to water, like an uh, important part of life, and it brought me into the cool colors. So, just very intuitive. Just let it flow. <laughs> it looks like it was fun to do. Yes. And also, this goes like this? Yeah. I was also pretty intuitive. I just kind of let whatever was up here come out on paper. Um, and I was really working on warm versus cool. I'm the only girl of my family. I have um, three I brothers. No, the other so way. I was kind of the thinking way? about oh, the that way. <laughs> <laughs> just the oh, fact that oh, I, I have three brothers and, and me being the only girl and trying to work the, the pink and the blues. And, and I was thinking of the blanket and everything wrapping all together. So interpreting that as like a, a family wrapping all together. And are you the pink, Teresa? Yeah. Because there's a lot more pink than there are blues. There's only one of you and there's three. I'm pretty dominant in my family. <laughs> <laughs> it's interesting that you see yourself as the pink and there's just these little blue spots. Yeah. <laughs> did, we, did we get everybody? Um, do you want to say any more about yours, Alyssa? No, that, no. I mean, okay. Yeah, I want to thank everybody. I know that we're out of time. Um,